Would you want to live on another planet besides Earth? This has been a hot topic in the past year with SpaceX developing a space flight system to transport humans to Mars. Then you got the movie Interstellar. Oh, and by the way, comment below if you cried during that movie. Be honest. How many of you cried? Not saying I cried, just want to know how many of you cried. Oh, and uh, spoiler alert, let me know if you cried during that part, you know, when he goes into that thing. And oh, that part where he's with his daughter towards the end, you know, that's kind of cry worthy. Just saying, those are a couple scenes that some people might have cried in. Not saying I did, but some people. Anyway, scientists have recently found eight planets that could support life, and two of them are the most Earth-like worlds ever discovered. But I want to know from you, if the opportunity does present itself, would you leave this planet and go live somewhere new? Eight new planets have been discovered in the Goldilocks zone of their stars, orbiting at a distance where oceans and life could exist. The discovery doubles the number of small planets less than twice the diameter of Earth, which are believed to be in the habitable zone of their parent stars. Among these eight, astronomers say there are two that are the most similar to Earth of any known exoplanets to date. Lead scientist Dr. Torres from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics in Cambridge bridge said that most of these planets have a good chance of being rocky like Earth. The two most Earth-like planets known as Kepler-438b and Kepler-442b both orbit red dwarf stars that are smaller and cooler than the Sun. Kepler-438b has a 70% chance of being rocky. Kepler-442b is about one-third larger than Earth, and the likelihood of it being rocky is around 60%. To be in the habitable zone, also known as the Goldilocks zone, a planet must not be too hot or too cold and receive roughly as much sunlight as Earth. Too much heat from its star and any water would boil away way as steam, too little and the water would freeze solid. Kepler-438b receives about 40% more light than Earth, giving it a 70% probability of having a habitable zone orbit. In comparison, baking hot Venus has twice as much. The other star gets about two-thirds as much light as Earth and is 97% likely to be in the habitable zone. Dr. David Kipping, also from the Center for Astrophysics, said, We don't know for sure whether any of the planets in our sand are truly habitable. All we can say is that they're promising candidates. Unfortunately, neither of the planets are close to us. Kepler-438b is located 470 light years from Earth, while the more distant Kepler-442b is 1,100 light years away. The team, whose findings were presented at the American Astronomical Society's annual meeting in Washington, D.C., studied planetary candidates first identified by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. Telescope. All the planets were too small to confirm by measuring their masses. Instead, they were validated using a computer program that determined they were statistically likely to be planets. After the analysis, follow-up observations showed that four of the planets were in multiple star systems. Now for me, unless the Earth is dying, uh, I would not want to move to a new planet. Heck, there are places on this planet I would not go. Like some random deadly mosquito-infested jungle or like the Arctic. I don't want to go there. So what I really want to go to another planet where I might encounter creatures that could kill me in ways I can't even imagine. At least on this planet, I know the creatures that are trying to kill me. Like a bear might want to claw me to death. Or a hyena might want to crush my neck. But say I'm on some foreign planet and encounter some random creature, I don't even know how this thing will kill me. Is it mean looking, but really gentle? Or really gentle looking, but will swallow me whole? I guess what I'm saying is, I don't want to be a planet beta tester. And don't get me wrong, I'm adventurous. I take the subway at night in New York City. I'm just not they move to a new planet and possibly get eaten by a weird creature kind of guy. Well, let me know what you guys would do in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. See you later.